In this chapter, we have talked about some of the preferences in Adobe Premiere Elements. Now, I like to call those application preferences. In other words, any project that you open up, it's going to use them. But there's another layer of preferences, and they're actually called settings, for the project itself that only impact the project that you're working on and would change, if you want to, for every project that you have. They're located under the Edit menu. Now, I have a generic document open. You might see something different if you already have a project open, but if I go up the word Edit and go down to Project Settings, you've got three. General, Capture, and Video Rendering. Let's start with General. The first thing you might notice is a lot of stuff is grayed out. You can't change it. Now here's where I get back to the chapter when I talked about organization. You really know what you want to do because once you create the document, we haven't done that yet, but we will. When we create a new project, basically some of the things that you define for that project really can't be changed. For example, the editing mode and the time base are locked in. Now you can change the playback settings. Well, for example, you could use an external device for your real-time playback or for your export if you have one, and I do. If I want to use it, I can. So I can change things like that. Down here, frame size, nope. Pixels, fields, nope. I can change the display format, but only in how I interpret the frame rate, not changing it. Drop, non-drop, or frame. So we'll talk about the difference on those later when we create a new document. I can change the title safe area and the action safe area. And those are areas that are considered safe for video if, say, you're going out to broadcast a TV or something like that. I can't change the sample rate, but I can change the display format from audio samples to milliseconds if I want to. In Capture, I can change how I do that. HDV, DV, or QuickTime, up to you. And then the last one is in video rendering. And the only two things I can change here are do I want when I render, I want maximum bit depth. And do I want to optimize my stills? So if you've got stills, it makes it more efficient. Helps with bandwidth. That's about it. Project settings are obviously important because they help to find the project itself. However, some of them cannot be changed once the project has been created, so begin with the end in mind before you create a new project, and that'll save you a lot of headaches down the road.